I've just bought a Nintendo Switch and there's something missing. The kind of thing that Nintendo need to fix pretty soon or I'm gonna get upset. Reggie, you have been warned. Okay, but seriously, this console needs a Switch Sports next year. It not only sounds great, Switch Sports, but it's the kind of thing that will really establish the Switch as a family console. For me, party and family games are a really big part of any Nintendo console. Since the Wii came out, this is largely what I've looked at Nintendo for, and although the Switch is excelling, this area is clearly one of its weakest right now. In order to understand why the Switch needs Switch Sports, let's take a look at a couple of games that the Switch already has, which are either similar in gameplay or style, that aren't quite scratching that Wii Sports itch. We'll start off with 1-2 Switch. This game was one of a few launch titles for the Switch and was intended to be what Wii Sports was to the Wii when it launched all the way back in 2006. One of its biggest objectives was to show off the motion control of the Switch, which it does pretty well, and it only costs just over £30 these days so it's not ridiculously expensive either. But I didn't even want to pay that. I can see that there is fun to be had in a party atmosphere with 1-2 Switch, and a couple of the minigames do seem really fun particularly the quick draw, but there's not enough on there to make me think I'm going to get many hours out of it at all. I feel like some of the mini games, i.e. table tennis, could have been a lot better if done differently. It's incredibly difficult to play table tennis at the best of times, never mind when you can't see the ball. Additionally, I just don't want to pretend to milk a cow on a game, I just don't get it. It would be funny a couple of times with friends, but there's just limited replayability there for me. Although, to be fair, after a few drinks, I'd probably have a go at milking a real cow for the laugh, so maybe this wouldn't be so bad. If you have virtually milked a cow, let me know what it was like down in the comments. Did it change your life, and who did you milk it with? Also, and probably more importantly, would you recommend 1-2 Switch? Before this gets any stranger, let's look at another game which falls into a similar category to what Switch Sports would. This next game most resembles Switch Sports out of everything currently available on the console. And it is... Go Vacation. I very nearly bought this game. At one stage it entered my basket as I was purchasing the Switch. However, once I did a bit of research, it eventually found its way back out again. The game has a ton of mini games with a lot of them, tennis and mini golf for example, looking a lot of fun and I'd love to see both in a Switch Sports. So, what's the problem Alex I hear you say? Stop grumbling, you miserable... Yeah, okay. Well, my biggest problem with this game is not so much what it is, but what it isn't. Fans seem to have a lot of fun with the game, a lot more than the critics did, but I found myself struggling to justify paying almost £40 for a game that is a port from the Wii, originally from 2011. Obviously there's a couple of changes from the original to make it fit the Switch, but just as I would want Switch Sports to be more than just a remake of Wii Sports Resort, this should have been more than just Go Vacation. Whilst researching for this video, I came across a comment saying pretty much why did they not make Go Vacation 2. I think this sums up my thinking pretty well, and although I'm sure they have their reasons, it doesn't remove the fact that it could have been so much more. This won't bother a lot of people who buy the game, i.e. those with young families, because anybody under 12 is unlikely to care. Well, I know I wouldn't. But for those of us who are a little older, it's a bit frustrating. Moreover, the open world will certainly be a lot of fun for some people, but for me right now I would just prefer a menu like we get in Wii Sports which directs you straight to the games. Maybe this is because I'm boring. This is just a minor grievance I had with the game and obviously just personal preference. If we don't get a sniff of a Switch Sports and this comes down a little in price in the next year, I could maybe see me purchasing it, but we'll see. However, there is certainly one party game that I'm going to be getting when it comes out on October the 5th. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's Super Mario Party. I am seriously hyped about this game and think it's going to sell incredibly well in the run up to Christmas. So this brings me to a new part in the video where I'm going to ask you a question about something to do with the video and today's question is going to be what number main instalment will the upcoming Super Mario Party be in the Mario Party series? Will it be the 7th main instalment, the 9th main instalment, or the 11th main instalment? If you got that question right, let me know down in the comments section below. 
I would have had no idea, so don't cry too much if you got it wrong. Clearly, even the most intelligent of the species don't know everything. <laughs> I'm thick. Super Mario Party is Nintendo's first serious attempt to fill the party game hole the Switch currently has. I mean, it's got party in its name, and I'm excited. Some of the recent Mario Party games have had mixed receptions, but it looks like this one is going to please more people, although we won't really know until we get our hands on it. What I particularly like from what I've seen of Super Mario Party is the way in which you can use multiple switches to create bigger maps for example and add more players to the screen. It's just a shame I don't really know anybody else who owns a Switch. The Nintendo Switch undoubtedly has some decent party games either currently on the console or coming in the near future. Hell, I haven't even mentioned Mario Kart 8 Deluxe which is a lot of fun to play with family and friends, at least when you win it is. Yet there is a massive Switch sports size hole in the library of the games available for the console. Although Go Vacation tried to fill this hole, it just wasn't the right shape and size, and it is hopefully envisaged as a sort of placeholder for when a bigger and better Switch Sports game comes out next year. So I guess only time will tell on this, but I hope this video helped you understand why I want to see a Switch Sports title next year. Be sure to let me know your thoughts on the subject down below, and do also like the video if you've enjoyed, and subscribe to the channel for regular Nintendo videos like this and other gaming content. Finally, share this with a friend to see what they think. Maybe that friend who made you all stand up and play Wii Sports properly, whilst everybody else just wanted to sit down for golf and tennis. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time on the Multiplayer Media Gaming Channel.